and today we're linking Amazon Dash and Android device. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech. You probably know I'm locked in this office uh, trying to figure out how to do various things for a long time, which means few times uh, I forgot there is a dinner ready and uh, I've been called many times and many times I've ignored this uh, getting me into trouble, no more trouble because I've got Amazon Dash and a notification system that will do just that. So if their dinner is ready all I have to do is just press the button, wait five seconds and receive the notification to my phone, to my computer and Google Home. Time for a dinner. Bonus thing is, it will tell you whether it's a breakfast, lunch or dinner depending on what time the notification has been issued. Simple enough, isn't it? So feel free to modify uh, what kind of notification is that, but if you want to get a notification to your Android device when the button is pressed, that's the tutorial for you. When a button is pressed, the notification is being sent to both devices. In this case, it's my mobile and the computer. We can obviously set several devices, several different Android devices, computers, etc. So let's take a look now at the uh, node red. First of all, we have a dash button with the limiter node. So if you're not uh, sure how to set the dash button, there is a tutorial as in explaining this in detail. So I'm just going to link it in the description for you. Now we need to install additional node, which is a time node. It's called moments. And if you go to a uh, palette ma manager and type in moments, you'll see node red contrib moment. And this is the node I'm going to use to figure out what time the node, uh, the button has been pressed and use the time to and um, decide whether it's a call for breakfast, lunch or dinner. So if you look at the time node itself, I'm not using uh, input at all as all I need is a trigger. So when the message is being triggered, it will uh, take the time of the trigger. Now in here, I've, uh, using a default um, time zone, and offset it by one uh, in this case because I'm in Britain and the output format is very important in here because I'm, I need object. Object will give me a full object with access to months, dates, hours, etc. And I'm going to need hours. All of that's going to be stored in message.time. So once I've got everything set in here, I'm ready. Now, based on what is stored in message.time.hours, you can see, I'm going to show you here in a debug node, in this debug node, and uh, this is what's being executed. This is how the message looks like, and I need time.hours, so message.time.hours. So based on that property, I um, just uh, created three different outputs, one between 7 and 11, 12 and 16, and 17 and 22. It uses 24 hour clock, so um, be aware of this. And depending on the value of the hours, it's going to go to one to three. So that's happy. And then using the change nodes, I'm just going to set message.mil. So the name of the message, so breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the URL. I'm just uh, using some Google search for different icons for dinner, breakfast, and lunch. And those two properties are being set by the change node. Now I've got three, so obviously this one's going to have a different uh, lunch and different icon, etc. Now before we're going to send that to the join node itself, I'm just going to format the join um, field. So if I don't enter anything in here, I just need to pass specific information like uh, message.text, message.title, etc. And uh, to do it, I'm just using a function. And what function is going to take the URL, which is uh, submitted by the nodes in here. So these had the URL in here, right? So that's going to be this one and store it in a variable. And that variable is going to be substituted uh, as a message.icon for the join. And then message.meal is going to be added on top on at the end of the time for a and then dinner, etc. Um, my devices, so I'm sending it to my phone pixel and to my desktop, which is funnily enough called desktop and the title is the kitchen alert and then i'm just returning uh, the message uh, and pass it over to join so the join is configured there's only config needed to do etc just a quick note you're probably going to need device ids if you're sending it to another google email address so if you have a, a partner or colleague or whatever family member you want to send the 
join notification, you have to authorize it by getting a device ID because that's how it operates. So uh, you have to have it in your shared contacts, etc., and then you can send it uh, to the devices for a different uh, Gmail account. Uh, if you want to get this notification on PC, you have to have a join uh, extension in Chrome and uh, you could uh, swap it over with um, probably Event Ghost, but I'm not going to cover this and get the Event Ghost instead of that and using Auto Remote, but you'll have to still have Auto Remote uh, here to receive these. And additionally, if you're going to use Google Home, uh, you could use the Google Home um, let me find Google Google Home Notify node. Uh, I've spoke to uh, about this before, so I'm just going to link the tutorial. Uh, bear in mind the Google for uh, Google Home Notify requires payload, so you need to transfer all that responses into payload. So you can do it by, for example, uh, linking another function node. So let's add a function node, and that's going to take output from here. And, uh, and as you can see, the output from this node is here. So this is how it looks like. Uh, let me just open the object. And I need to get time for dinner. This is, so I'm copy this path and I'm just going to set this so. Text, text. And that's gonna be my variable X equals and then so that's going to stop text i need to uh, use it as a payload so message to the payload equals x and done and that means that at the same time it will convert this message uh, as a payload and send it to google notify which you just need to select the node for and that's pretty much it. There are probably 10,000 different users on how you could use this notification from a button to Android device or computer or Google Home. So you let me know in the comments, uh, what would you use it for? And maybe the interesting one, uh, I'll just uh, make a separate video out of it. If you're interested to see more about Amazon Dash or you want to learn Node-RED, etc., uh, just follow me on YouTube. I'll keep posting random videos at the random times and social media as well if you want to know when the random video has been posted. So thanks for watching for now. I guess I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care.